What's going on? This is Quaman Fowler of the Jazz Web Shed YouTube channel. And uh, this is where I get a chance to help you if you are a jazz musician, a jazz student, and you want to get your um, head wrapped around improvising and things like that. So that's what this channel is about, and I'm trying to stick to it. Uh, so in this lesson, I wanted to talk about superlocrian scales. All right, so superlocrian scales is something that I learned back in uh, high school, I believe, when I was looking stuff up. And so it's usually something that you put on the five chord, like of a minor two five, you usually put the superlocrian um, on that five chord. So um, I want to play that for you. I'm going to use C. We'll use the C superlocrian uh, scale. So what you do, the formula for it is half step, whole step, half step, uh, whole step, then whole step, whole step, whole step. One, two, three, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So it's four whole steps to get you back to the top of C. All right. So um, how do you use that? So like I said, on a minor two five, if you got so that's usually where you put it on that five chord. So so you usually will hear that sound, and um, usually they're just playing through the superlocrian sound. Okay, now um, the thing that that is cool about it, you can look at it at a different standpoint, you know, a different point of reference. So you got uh, the root, but if you go up a half step, if you go up a half step, then that'll put you on that C sharp, and that C sharp really, if you play the arpeggio. That's actually a, a, a C sharp minor major seven, or you can say a melodic minor. That's C sharp melodic minor. You know, so in order to play the superlocrian scale, if it's a C, you just go up a half step and play um, that melodic um, minor scale. You know, and just go down a half step and then you have the super loca. So you can definitely play through the different modes of the super loca scale. That's interesting right there. That's the Lydian dominant scale. So that's F sharp. Alright, so that's actually the Lydian dominant scale because it's it's uh, the F sharp Lydian dominant. I'm a tenor player, so I sometimes I it, I'm slow with converting it. So um, that's cool once you learn the actual scale. Play through the different modes. I like that one. That's uh, F, um, so that'll be F sharp. I'm sorry, G sharp. That'll be G sharp. Augmented. That's the scale. Now, once you learn that scale, depending on how you look at it, uh, if you want to think melodic minor scale, up a half step, you know, and then play the actual superlocal scale by going down a, a half step, you can do that. 
or however you want to do it, but just go through the modes and practice the modes of it like this. <laughs> Practice on that and uh, get it under your fingers and, um, you know, learn it in the different keys. All right, so that's it for now. If you like this channel, make sure you like it, subscribe, leave me a comment. I'm uh, good with uh, getting back to you. Life happens. Sometimes there'll be some gaps in between when I do these videos, but I'm a father, husband, and teacher, and I'm doing gigs, practicing and stuff, so I'll I got a lot of stuff going on, but I appreciate your comments and I do read them and I appreciate your support. If you want to support this channel, you can actually go to the to the Patreon page that's uh, linked here. It's in the description below. Or if you want to get deeper in your studies with me, you can go to jazzwebshed.com. Get on the email list. You'll get a free master class and some awesome uh, tips and things to help you. And if you want to join the, the group, the private group, where I do live master classes every Tuesday. You can be a part of that and have access to my academy where I have video lessons and stuff for you. So that's it for now, and we'll see you on another video. Peace.